This is Chief Kufra with my millions of fans. We show Detroit, Michigan love. Good morning, Detroit, Michigan. Good morning, Detroit, Michigan. This is Chief Kufra. I have arrived at the heart of Detroit to carry your message that the business of Detroit is open. That business, that Detroit is open for business. To take your message of compassion to America. Let me shut your water. Make to thousands of people. They shut their water to Detroit. Some don't even have some the electricity. They have been also done. But they sit down. One thing they have not taken from them is the spirit that built America. That cannot be taken from you. Oh, show Detroit love. Show Detroit love. Show Detroit love. America. That charity. Charity starts from home. That Detroit qualify for the two billion that we wanted to give to Ukraine, Russia. All the roads, the infrastructures of America is built by Detroit. George W. Romney was the governor of Michigan from 1963 to 1969. The son, Mitt Romney, said they are 47%. He turned away, let them rot. Show Detroit love, oh! Show Detroit love, eh? Hey, show Detroit love, oh! America, oh! You stood there watching, oh! Compassion, hey, 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 you stood there watching, oh, show compassion, oh. All the roots of America, the landmarks of infrastructure, the three main highways of America was built by Detroit because they tried existing and today we have almost 10 million people living some don't have shoes on their feet to have boot strings to fight we have even firemen who have no boots to fight fire in Detroit oh show Detroit love oh show Detroit love hey show Detroit love oh America oh if Mr. Romney were to think of his own dad, his dad was the governor of Michigan, he would have, if he is as strong as he thinks he is, he would have brought in businessmen around the world to turn Detroit to give the boots to the people, to the 10 million people of Detroit, so that they can find good strings. If you don't have boots in America to wear, how can you find your bootstrings? I ask that question all the time when I see the level of poverty. Oh, show Detroit love, oh, show Detroit love, hey, hey, show Detroit love, oh, America, oh. You know what? Let me shut your water. Make to thousands of people. They shut their water in Detroit. Some don't even have some of the electricity they have been also cut. But they sit down. One thing they have not taken from them is the spirit that built America. That cannot be taken from you. Oh, show Detroit love, oh. Show Detroit love. Hey, hey. Show Detroit love, oh. America, oh. Yes, Mr. Romney, your dad was a governor then, but now Detroit is compared to Chernobyl. And you know what? If you are as strong as you say you are, which I believe you are, and as rich as you think you are, I believe the 
This is a challenge that you turn the turn around. The business of the tribe. Like the phonics you will rise again from the dust of bankruptcy. Ten million people is signed up to the Chernobyl. How can we Americans look at that? It's the city that built America. Suddenly fell on its luck. And some people have the nerve to say let it rot. Somehow, in my own judgment, I think charity starts at home, Washington. Charity starts at America. They deserve the two billion more than Ukraine, Russia. Hand it over to them so that they can find their boots drinking cost me. And you know what? They are watching many of them have been cut because they don't have the boots to wear to find the boot string. In America today, if you are born poor, you may end up not even affording college because even community college could be beyond your means. Yeah. So I'm asking everybody out there in America from sea to sea to donate generously to Detroit. I'm taking their message, not just in America, but worldwide. Donate. If you are a police department, you have excess inventory. Give it to Detroit. If you are a fireman around the world, donate it to Detroit. For artists like me, star like me, who start on the world stage, the message will reach seven continents that you donate generously. And they say when they talk to the crew, they talk to the chicken. For you young man in Detroit, white, black, Hispanic, and in between, who choose to go and burn down the houses of Detroit, you call it the devil's night. What a shame, the devil never created you. Neither did the devil create Detroit. You can become a landlord by just instead of buying a gun to terrorize your neighborhood. You know what? You can buy a pill, a broom, a hammer, and tell the city of Detroit for five hundred dollars that you will become a landlord instead of going to Detroit. Man. So that firemen who don't even have boots will go and fight fire. You know, you can become a landlord at an early age of 18 instead of going to Detroit now and call it the devil's life. Oh, give Detroit love, oh, give Detroit love, hey, hey, give Detroit love, oh, America, oh, you stood there watching, oh, show compassion, hey, hey, you stood there watching, oh, show some mercy, oh, donate generously to Detroit, bring it back. The business of Detroit is open, my friend, around the world to all businessmen. The land is in cheap. The businesses are there. You just have to take the initiative, people. We got this.